Good morning. I am Sean McCormick, Director of On-Campus Programs here at the Washington State School for the Blind. And I would like to welcome all of you for joining us today and celebrating the graduates of the class of 2021. For more information on our graduates and a program, if you have a smartphone, you can pull up tinyurl.com slash WSSB grads 21. At this time, I would like us to take a moment for land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that WSSB's campus is on the traditional lands of the Cowlitz peoples. We recognize the strong and diverse nation, native communities in our region today from tribes both local and distant and offer, offer respect and gratitude for their stewardship of these lands past, present, and future. At WSSB, our mission is to empower blind and low vision individuals to reach their full potential. I am honored that we are able to recognize this year's graduates that exemplify the spirit of WSSB. Before getting started, I want to acknowledge the hard work of our parents, our families, teachers, support staff, volunteers, and the many others that have supported these individuals getting to this point in their school career. I also wanna recognize all the staff that have helped put together the event outside in the accommodations given our circumstances. At this time, please rise as we welcome our graduates. <laughs> Please remain standing. At this time, I would like to invite you to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance led by Siorian Fatim. The flag is located on the left side of the track if you are in the audience. So first, I will be doing the national anthem of Micronesia. So please remove your hat. Tis here we are pledging with heart and with hands for measure of devotion to the our native land for measure of devotion to the our native 
Now put your hand on your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce WSSB's Superintendent Scott McCallum. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Sean, for the introduction. Thank you, C. Orianne, or Persis, as I know you, for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Micronesian National Anthem. It was very beautifully performed, and I appreciate you sharing your culture with us today. I'm gonna let that plane fly over. Greetings, class of 2021, family members, staff, board members, and virtual guests. As Sean mentioned, my name is Scott McCullum, and I have the incredible honor of serving as the superintendent of the Washington State School for the Blind. Today certainly is a special day for our 2021 graduates and their families. Class of 2021, congratulations. Today marks an important milestone in your journey of life. One of many to come for each of you, no doubt. But you class of 2021 are perhaps more prepared for the uncertainty that lies ahead than any other class before you. Each of you have proven to be resilient, flexible, and dedicated scholars. Your commitment, ability to adapt to change, and drive have been tested over and over and over again, and you made it. Not to a destination or a finish line, rather a gate or entrance to the next level of life, and it's time to level up. The next level can be as vibrant, exciting, and positive as you make it. We also know that it will not be without challenge, strife, and occasional setbacks. What defines you are not those moments in time, but instead how you respond. Class of 2021, you have demonstrated that each of you have the skills to succeed, even when faced with uncertainty, change, and obstruction. Congratulations. I know that each of you has what it takes to succeed in life, and I believe in you. Once again, Graduation may seem a little different than what we're used to or thought it would be like. I never thought we'd be out here in the rain under tents. It's beautiful just to be here with you. I'll never again take for granted the power of being together and sharing the same airspace with others. I'm grateful to be here in person with so many of you today, and I look forward to the day when we can all be in person together again. Though today is all about our graduates, I do wanna take a moment to thank our families and friends of our graduating seniors who have supported them along the way. You've played an extremely important role as our seniors navigate their life's journey. Today marks a momentous time in life of each of our graduates and one that deserves celebration. Thank you to all the family members who have provided critical support for each of our young people with us today. We know this past year has been especially challenging. Seniors, please don't forget to acknowledge those who have been there for you during the good and the bad. As Helen Keller says, and I often love to quote, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. I have the honor of passing the baton to our commencement speaker, but before I introduce him, I also want to thank and introduce our board of trustees and ex officio board members. The board of trustees represent the 10 congressional districts of Washington. Each board of trustee member is appointed by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. The ex officio board members represent a variety of important stakeholders of WSSB. Those stakeholders include parents, the Washington State chapters of the National Federation of the Blind and the American Council of the Blind, as well as the two employee union groups at the Washington State School for the Blind. We appreciate you, your support and guidance and your commitment to the students and families we serve. I'd also like to take this opportunity to reach, to recognize each of these individuals who serve on our board of trustees. Board Chair, Greg Zabo, 
Board Vice Chair, Brent Stark, Nancy McDaniel, Carrie Clark, Dennis Matthews, Lily Clifton, and Reg George. Ex officio board members are Krista Bulger, Marcy Carpenter, Jolene Ferguson, Stephanie Face, and Jim Eccles. Thank you, board members. We really appreciate your service. I also want to acknowledge and thank our former superintendent, Dr. Dean Stengem, who may be in the virtual audience today. Dr. Stengem was the 10th superintendent in our school's long history and namesake for a beautiful fitness center. Dr. Stengem, thank you for your many years of leadership. And finally, it's my wonderful honor to introduce to you our friend, commencement speaker, and longtime WSSB teacher and coach, Mr. Paul Baldwin. Mr. Baldwin's been teaching at WSSB for over 24 years. He's worked in a variety of instructional capacities, but perhaps is best known as our science teacher and goalball coach. Mr. Baldwin is a passionate and caring educator, known to be a strong advocate for students and staff. Mr. Baldwin was recently recognized with the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Pacific Northwest Chapter of the Association for the Education and Rehabilitation of the Blind and Visually Impaired. It's quite an honor. Mr. Baldwin has announced his retirement at the conclusion of this school year. And as both our 2021 graduates and Mr. Baldwin prepare for their next steps in life in tandem, I find it a fitting tribute that the class of 2021 chose Mr. Baldwin to be their very own commencement speaker. So without further ado, please welcome to the podium our 2021 commencement speaker, the wonderful, the retiring, we're gonna miss you, Mr. Paul Baldwin. Thank you, Superintendent McCallum. Welcome graduates, parents, family members, friends, board members, administration, and fellow staff. Seniors, thank you. I'm deeply humbled and honored today that you considered me worthy to be your commencement speaker. Congratulations to the senior class of 2021. You've done it. You completed your years of dedication, perseverance, studying, and creativity. You can lay claim to something no other senior class has done. You made it an entire year through COVID-19, you spent the year accessing your education on Zoom and Google Classroom. Congratulations. As Superintendent McCallum shared, I share a special bond with this class because I get to graduate. Yesterday, I closed the chapter on my teaching career here at WSSB, but it only took me twice as long as you did with your education, 24 years. I remember my interview in October of 1997 with Dr. Bickford. I came in with shirt, tie, and slacks, and his first words to me were, lose the tie. I nervously did. The very next day I was called in to substitute teach and that began my life here at WSSB. At this point, I need to acknowledge two individuals that really mentored me and provided leadership to me with the blind and visually impaired population. One is still working here today, and that's Bonnie Moran. And the second retired a few years ago, and that's Bonnie Christensen. I also should mention that I share a special bond with this class because of two young ladies in the spring of their freshman year, 
they sort of twisted my arm and said, I couldn't retire until they graduate. The very next year, at their individual education program meeting, both decided to stay an extra year. Right, right Chloe, C-R-E-N? <laughs> Thanks, I've enjoyed every bit of it. So graduates, let me share some insights that I hope will help and inspire you as you journey through life. The insights come from two books that I read recently. The first book is The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. And the second book is What Do You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada. To be fair, I need to give credit to Ms. Pat Wilbur who recommended those books to me. The first insight comes from the quote, what is the bravest thing you've ever said? Asked the boy. The answer was, help, said the horse. Never be afraid to seek help. I've learned that my pride can keep me from progressing to my fullest potential. Our culture in particular tends to reinforce the opposite position. It teaches us to be strong, rely on yourself, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. However, we will all face those moments when we need the assistance from others. Never be too proud to reach out and grab a lifeline from others. Insight number two, what do you think is the biggest waste of time? The answer, comparing yourself to others, said the mole. We each bring our own unique strengths and qualities to the table. In high school, our track coach uh, sort of begged me to come out and run track for him. I refused because I didn't think I was as fast as the other sprinters. You see on our high school football team, uh, when I looked at our starting running backs and I was one of those, I was the slowest one next to the quarterback. And, and so I never took that opportunity to go out for track. It wasn't until I got to college that I realized how fast I actually was. So I missed out on a great opportunity. Always believe in yourself. Everyone is different, believe it or not, and no one is perfect. Insight number three comes from the quote, I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. The question I would ask is, compared to what? We're living in this pandemic and the COVID-19 virus ranges in diameter from 20 to 500 nanometers. How big is the nanometer? Well, it takes 1 million nanometers to equal one millimeter, which is the size of a pinhead. And we know how large of a, how large an effect the COVID virus has had on our world. Remember, no one else can fill your role. Think about what your purpose in life is, and you get to decide that. I want to conclude with one final insight, and that is, what do you do with an idea? You protect it, you care for it, you feed it, you work with it, you play with it. 
Most of all, you give it your attention. Then you Here you are, surrounded by so many people that care deeply and think the world of you. Congratulations. This might not even feel real for you right now, graduates. So give yourself a pinch. Check if you're really here. Listen to this rain, feel the little bit of chill in the air and smell the smells. This is it. I'm so grateful to have had you as students at our school. There's something about each one of you that I know I will remember and smile about. Know that you've already made an impact on the world by making an impact on the lives of others, your friends, family, students, teachers, and I'm sure many others. This is what it's all about. As you leave high school and enter a new phase, I have three recommendations for you today. First, allow yourself permission to be in every moment. Allow yourself to be fully present when you're doing something you enjoy and try to do the, to do the same when you're doing something you don't enjoy very much. There are so many distractions to take you away from the experiencing experience of living. If you're not sure how to do this, just to remember, just remember to take a deep breath. There you go, you just did it. Second, remember who is having an impact on you in your life. Family, friends, coworkers, the neighbor who plays their music too loud at midnight. People in your life matter for better or worse, choose your friends wisely and cherish, cherish those who lift you up and help you feel like the person you truly are and who you aspire to be. And know that nobody should ever have the power to control whether you are happy or not. Your happiness is up to you only. Thirdly, Remember that you have an impact on the lives of others around you. 
Be kind. Do your best to be the person you want to be friends with and love. Lift up those who need it most and never underestimate how your smile or saying something nice can bring joy to someone you don't even know. And if you care about someone in your life and truly love, for, love them, this includes your friends and family, don't wait to tell them. I hope that wherever you are in each moment, you take time to appreciate who's had an impact on your life and whose life you've had an impact on. I am so grateful for the impact you've had on mine. At this time, I would like to invite a few of our graduates to share parting words with everyone. First up is Kyle Bulger. Thank you to Principal Sean in the corner. I can serve the great thoughts of this campus. It's hard to believe that we have made it to our career here at school. There is this day has become a special place to our nation. Originally established in 1886, at the time where our country was unequal. Now, during the health pandemic, and more than ever, it is our time to give the children and students of the world the education they deserve, and to show the world who we are. A few thank yous goes out to the great staff of teachers at the school. The women's arts teacher, Pat Volger and Jesse Gold, our, our NAF teacher, Ananda Rada and Lisa Hodge, our outgoing science teacher, Mr. Paul Dolan, social studies world history teacher, and recently joined our NAF instructor, Steve Rowry, our outgoing maestro of music, Shane W. Dittnor, our fellow artiste and all young instructor, Ken Johnson, and the hardworking tech consultants of Michael Face and Carol Schultz. I also want to thank our great team of the PA and exercise using to give us the physical education of Jennifer Butcher, John Way, and Ashley Young. A digital thanks goes out to my entire family and to my young pal, Jack Kotner, who is with us tonight. For all the past five years, has stood by my side to get into the high hopes, hopes of the school education that I deserve. Last week but not least, I want to thank the fine bosses of this town Ms. Jennifer Langley and Mr. Sean McCormick, without whom the school would never thrilled to survive even during the tough times of a worldwide health crisis. Yes. A big thank you to the entire staff and students on behalf of the entire DSSB community. And always remember this, yes. once a DSSB won, always eternally forever. Oh, there's this B1. Farewell from this great school for all eternity. 
I love you all. Thank you. Next, we have Sioran Fatim. Hello, friends, families, and staff. Oh, my gosh, I made it. No, we made it. I would like to thank you all. I would like to say thank you to all the staff for putting in your time for me to succeed so that I can reach this finish line. I know I was a bit stubborn, but <laughs> thank you for dealing with me. I know working with us students can be a little bit of a headache, but I just want to. Thank you all of you for helping each and every one of us reach the finish line. This year, I also thought I wasn't going to walk again, but a big thank you to all of my wonderful teachers for always pushing me to continue my race so that I can cross the finish line of being a high schooler. Next, I would like to give a big thank you to Mr. Detmar and Mrs. Harrington for giving me the chance to work as a TA. I for sure will miss all of the students that I worked with along with both of you. You both have showed me how to get out of my shell by helping me lead the classes and also helping me getting them to stay on topic when they always wanted to get off track. Just thank you both so much. Another shout out goes to my wonderful counselor, Miss Billy Jo Thomas. You are just the wonderful person that let me share my cries with you and for helping me to learn how to keep my head up even, even though things were getting hard for me. The best thing was double trouble every time we would pass by in the hallway. Again, thank you for always giving, thank you for always having your door open for me to come and spread my hot Cheeto dust for good luck. <laughs> Last, I would like to thank my wonderful family for always for always supporting me when it came to schoolwork. I know that I always got from them. I am in the parking lot, but they could hear me from the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't that loud, but okay. 
I also want to thank you. <laughs> I also want to thank you for letting me finish my school year here. If it wasn't for you guys, who knows what would have happened to my to me in my high school career. Thank you all for being here for each and every one of us and showing us to push it even with the year that we all can learn in the future. Giriso and thank you. At this time, we have Chloe McDonald. Thank you. I have spent the last seven years here at WSSB, and let me tell you, it has flown by in a flash. I remember stepping foot on campus for the very first time as a new student. I didn't know what to expect. Let's be honest, I was so excited to live in a dormitory setting and start my new chapter at a new school. Both my grandparents said that they would miss me, but I told them I would be back before they knew it. I remember the first few weeks of grade seven. Every day, my grandmother's name would flash upon my phone screen. And I'm gonna be completely honest, it got so annoying. <laughs> But however, I knew she meant well. I don't know where I would be without the support of my family, friends, and staff. With that said, I want to thank these three groups of people for making my WSSB experience a time to remember. Family. Thank you for always supporting me in the decision of attending WSSB from grade seven to grade 12. I remember the conversation way back in grade six regarding what middle and, middle and high school I will attend. And I am so glad it was WSSB. Thank you for always being there for me through the good, bad, and hard times. I could not have done it without you. Friends, growing up, I didn't have any friends. However, when I came to WSSB, that changed. I felt somewhere where I belonged and knew where I would be accepted due to my blindness. Thank you all for being there for me and supporting me all these years. I will always cherish the memories we had together. Although we may be going our separate ways, I will never forget any of you. Staff, thank you for accepting me into this school. It has been a joy to get to know all of you and learn from you. Thank you for always being there for me and believing in me to always try and never give up. Um, yeah, to never give up. Um, although this past year has been a challenging one 
for all of us. None of you have stopped believing in me. All of you mean a great deal to me, and I will never forget any of you. Thank you. All right, it is that time. Mr. McCallum, our board of trustees and all of our esteemed guests, it gives me great pleasure to affirm that the students graduating on this day have met their requirements of their prescri prescribed course of study at the Washington State School for the Blind. From Vancouver, Washington, Kyle Bolger. From Anacortes, Washington, Dre Chitwood. From Vancouver, Washington, Siorian Fatim. <laughs> From Kent, Washington, Chloe McDonald. From Gig Harbor, Washington, Cheyenne Perjou. From Tacoma, Washington, Husai Sanchez. From Newburgh, Oregon, Izzy Solario. From Stevenson, Washington, 
John C. Zeman. And not here today, from Covington, Washington, Dima Farage. Okay, seniors, ready your tassels. I present to you the class of 2021. Before heading out, it is our practice and tradition to have our students ring a bell for each year of attendance at WSSB. All right. As Mrs. Langley gets, gets set up with the bells. We have Dre Chitwood, two years. John Zeman, three years. Izzy Salario, five years. Kyle Bolger, six years. <laughs> Chloe McDonald, seven years. Theorian Patim, eight years. Cheyenne Perdue, eight years. And Josai Sanchez, nine years. Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate these wonderful, wonderful individuals that we were lucky to have as students. Before the graduates return to the tents with their families, just wanna let you know that as this ceremony concludes and you exit the track, you may pull your car up in the Irwin parking lot and line up at the curb and we will load your, your graduates packages and belongings into your car. This concludes our ceremony. Graduates, you may return back to your tents. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for coming.